Looking for the top profitable buy sell indicator on TradingView that predicts the exact future? Look no further than the Echo Forecast and Lux Algo indicators. These two powerful tools utilize a time series forecasting method and wave trend oscillator to help you make informed decisions on when to buy and sell. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced trader, the Lux Algo strategy and Echo Forecast indicator can help you optimize your scalping strategy with their reliable and accurate signals. With their use of moving averages, exponential moving averages, and a risk management strategy, you can rest assured that you are making informed and profitable trades. Don't waste your time with other trading view indicators and strategies. Choose the best buy-sell trading method with moving average and wave trend oscillator that works like the Lux Algo Echo Forecast. Now let's get down to the buy-sell indicator strategy on TradingView. Let's first add the Echo Forecast. This one right here by Lux Algo. This buy sell indicator uses a simple time series forecasting method derived from the similarity or dissimilarity between recent prices and historical prices. This buy sell trading method was named Echo. This method originally assumes that future prices can be estimated from a historical series of observations that are most similar to the most recent price variations. Such an assumption can prove to be relatively effective with the forecasting of a periodic time series. This buy-sell forecasting technique is closely inspired by the analog method. Introduced by Lorenz for the prediction of atmospheric data, with close look and study towards this buy sell indicator on TradingView. We all know that since the Echo Forecast tool by Lux Algo predicts its data based on similarities or dissimilarities from past data, the Trade Beta team decided to create a very profitable strategy that would not only grow your capital, but as well use moving averages as the best buy sell indicator on TradingView to predict the actions of professional traders. Stick with us to the end as we apply our buy-sell indicators and settings for this profitable trading strategy to enable our trading view indicators to predict price movement effectively. Now on the trading view indicator panel, search for the moving average. I want you to add this exponential moving average created by trading view. Then also search for the indicator wave trend oscillator. This one right here by Lazy Bear. Now we have both buy and sell indicators on the chart. Double click on the exponential moving average. On its input, change the time frame to one hour. Then also change the length to 21, as well as changing its offset to 20. On the style, change its color to white for better visualization. Click on the OK button to fully apply the settings. The exponential moving average, EMA, is a specific type of buy sell indicator moving average that points towards the importance of the most recent data and information from the market. We configured this trading view indicator in such a way that we can notice that the moving average is way ahead of the candlestick. This was made possible due to the inputs on the offset, thereby making it possible to predict future buy and sell price movement. But don't get caught up on that. These are just previous candlestick movements ahead of the candlestick. And now, for our second buy sell indicator on the chart, double click on it for its settings panel. Adjust your settings according to what you see on the chart. And we are done with its adjustment. Initially, how this buy sell wave indicator works is this. When the oscillator is above the overbought band, red lines, and crosses down the signal, dotted line, it is usually a good sell signal. Similarly, when the oscillator crosses above the signal when below the oversold band, green lines, it is a good buy signal. But with the recent configuration made on this indicator wave trend, we still take trades at some levels of the band line and avoid trades at some other level. 
and the question remains, how do traders make use of this buy sell forecasting indicator when trading? Well, it's simple. First, we need our candlestick to close below the buy sell moving average. When we have this, we only take sell trades as long as price remains below this moving average. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay The rules that were applied for this profitable buy-sell indicator strategy were simple As long as each candlestick closed below our major moving average We hunt only for sell trades we only enter a short position when we have our buy sell wave trend cross above the zero line. Again, we only enter trades when we have the buy sell signal line cross below the wave trend oscillator while above the zero line. When we have the cross above this upper band line, we do not take trades. The cross is valid only when it crosses above the zero band line while having its signal cross below this upper band line. Now I know most of you would be curious on what this second band line for this buy sell indicator is used for. Well, it's applied as our risk management strategy. And how we use it is this. When we are on the bearish trend as indicated by our candlestick below our buy sell indicator moving average if and when we get our wave trend indicator cross above the upper band line we do not take any trades till we get these moving averages closed below this band line this helped prevent trades at this point so as you can see this combination of buy sell indicators on trading view tends to be profitable what makes this strategy beginner friendly is because it has the ability to properly manage risk. And to further explain that, when we open a sell position when conditions have been met, we tend to close the trade if our take profit level is not yet hit. We do that at the point we see the oscillator line cross above the signal line. This helps us minimize our losses on losing trades. And for our general risk management levels, we open trade at the close of the candlestick, set stop loss at recent swing high. And for taking profit, we use 1.6 times what we risked in the market. So in the total trades taking place on screen, we successfully won 4 trades. Managed to make little profit on 2 trades which commission would likely make it a break even trade then incurred three minimum losses that were closed before the stop loss point. And we can see no full loss on what we risked in the market, but this doesn't mean it won't happen. It will, but rarely does. If you have watched up to this point, then consider yourself lucky. There is a nice hack to watch out for when trading using this by sell indicator strategy. When we are hunting for sell trades, we have our wave trend cross below this lower band line while also having a signal cross below the lower band line as we can see here. We tend to open a trailing stop loss order for this type of signal. As in most cases, we make much more than five times what is being risked in the market. And when using this strategy, make sure you apply it once at the cross of candlestick below our major buy sell moving average. Here is another good example of this supercharged trailing stop entry. So we see we met our conditions here, as candlestick newly closed below our major buy sell indicator. Also, we notice the wave trend signal line aligns with what we hunt for. If we entered this position at this candlestick, we would have made another massive winning trade here. When we hunt to buy an entry, it is exactly the opposite. So make sure to make full use of this strategy if you are yet to become profitable. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.